guys doing? We're in the greenhouse. You know what we're doing today? We are going to hand pollinate cucumber plants. I told you it was coming. I'm super excited, like I'm really excited, as you can tell. I wanted to do this last year, but uh, we had issues with the cucumber plants and it didn't work out right. Um, I even went last year in preparation, bought a bunch of different sizes of uh, little arts and crafts paintbrushes because I didn't know what size I was going to need. We're doing it. So I kind of missed the boat. This probably should have been done about two days ago, but I've been super busy rearranging lights. If you guys haven't seen the video, I rearranged a bunch of lights in here and odds and sods. But anyhow, one of the reasons I should have done it a couple of days ago is because some of the female flowers have closed up. So you always end up with way more male flowers than female flowers, right? And the fruits grow on the female flowers. So um, we have a few open female flowers and we're going to pollinate those right now. You guys ready? Get your paintbrushes. We're doing this right now. We're doing it. All right. So this is the size of paintbrush we're going to use. Okay. It's soft, like super soft. Okay. And the reason we're using this one is because the male flowers are fairly small, right? So we need to be able to get into the male flower, get that pollen and then get it into the female. And we need to use something nice and soft. If you guys want to do this, you can also do it with a Q-tip. It's a little more complicated with a Q-tip because you're going to end up packing the pollen into the cotton fibers on the Q-tip, right? But this will be great and it's flat. You guys can see it's, it's flat. Okay, let's do it. So the first thing you got to learn when you're going to pollinate. So this is a male flower. Where's my finger? That's a male flower. So you see how there's just a little stem, right? And then the actual flower itself. Okay, that's a male. The female flowers, this one here. See, it's got a little fruit on the back end. Like a little tiny cucumber. Check that out. Isn't that cute? Right? Look at that. So what we're going to do is we are going to just take a quick look up and down find the female flowers see there's another one there's two but this one's already passed so we're going to take a look up and down the plants look there's another one back there there's another one here right doesn't look like there's any on this one see this one's already closed What do we got on this one? We got a nice big open male flower. Oh, there's a female way back there. See her? Okay, so we know we have a few. So let's start. We are going to, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to use that male flower right there to pollinate that female flower right there so i will zoom you guys in and uh and we'll do this where's my paintbrush there it is okay so going to grab this little vine You're still in the frame here yep come here get out of there all right so there's our male flower gonna take our paintbrush gonna wiggle it around We're gonna get all that pollen on the tip of our paintbrush you guys see that and luckily we have lots of males so We'll do that and then we're going to take this beautiful female flower here we're going to put that right inside move it around 
got to be gentle. Don't want to damage it. Let's see. You know what we're going to do too while we're at it? We're going to bring this vine up here. And then it can start climbing for us. And then see if we can find some other females. Do, do, do. All right, so it doesn't look like there's any more on that plant. We had one up here somewhere, didn't we? Or did we not? Maybe we have to go to the other flowers. Okay, there's another one. I'll bring you guys up, hang on. Stuff's all up in my way. There we go. Move stuff out of the way. All right, so we have another female right there. All right? See, it's got the little fruit on the back. So let's find a nice big open male flower. I've got one back here. I'm just going to take some pollen from that one. that get all that pollen on the end of my I don't know if you guys can see that hang on we'll pick it up can you see the little bit of yellow on the tip of that there's the pollen so now we're gonna grab this little flower Cool. Let's see if we can find some more. Oh yeah, there's one in the back. There's one right there, you see it? Okay, let's make some room. Okay, so there's our beautiful little fruit. Right above it is a male flower. Just gonna borrow some pollen from this fella right here. Stick that in. And then we're going to take this female flower and then we're just going to gently see and this is why you want really soft paint brushes you don't want to damage the female flower pieces all right we'll just spread that around cool what do you guys think hey pretty neat well, we found some more. Let's zoom this back out. So here's another one right there. So I'm just going to, we're just gonna pretend we're bumblebees. That's all, just bumblebees. Just buzzing from flower to flower. Cool. And now let's bring you guys got two in one frame, which is nice so you guys can see. So here's our male flower and here is our female flower. Come in and grab some of this pollen. that and then we're going to come right over here to our female let's lift this up a little bit better for you guys to see there we go and then we're just gonna see if I can turn this a little bit there that 
and borrow a little more. I'm not worried about doing any damage to these male flowers because there are so many and they only have one purpose. And that one purpose is to provide the pollen for the female. There we go. Get that all up in there. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So now it's a waiting game, right? We're gonna know within the next couple of days whether that pollen took or not, right? So I'm gonna put this special paintbrush someplace so it doesn't get mixed in with the two other packs and the other paintbrushes because I've got peppers growing down here and I'm probably going to need to hand pollinate the peppers as well. Um, last year I had a pretty strong fan in here and it did pollinate some of the peppers, but if I can guarantee I'm gonna get more peppers out of here, then I'll just hand pollinate too. So, or what I might just do is I might just put a tag on here, you know, out of some painter's tape and just label it cucumbers or, or whatever. So, so that's the process. Into the male, get that pollen on there. Into the female, don't damage those sex organs. And just from one to the other. And because we have three different plants here too, same variety, but three different plants, that gives me a better option of moving genetics from plants to plants too. So it's probably gonna give me better seeds uh, if I decide to harvest any seeds out of here. And the nice thing is, because I only have cucumbers growing in here and that's the only thing in that family growing in my greenhouse, anything that, any of the seeds that I pull out of any of the cucumbers that I grow will be a direct representation of the genetics of the parent or parents because I'm pulling them from two different plants, right? So, you know, you buy a pack of seeds for $3, you get 25 seeds in that package or I take one of these cucumbers and I grow it out until it's all funny looking and yellow and bright orange when they're just like way past edible, rip all the seeds out. I'm gonna get way more than 25 seeds just from one cucumber. So, you know, you can increase your seed stock by doing things like this, but you can't do this in the garden because you'll have zucchini out there and you'll have melons out there and you'll have other squashes out there and different cucumbers and if you have a lot of pollinators chances are you're not going to get a pure seed product out of it so so that's what we're doing right now so thanks for watching do it yourself you can do this i have faith in you all right another tool for your toolbox have an awesome day grow good food and um you should do this didn't take much you know a little bit of work some watering i have faith in you plus you can feed this to your kids and you're not buying that garbage from the grocery store. Right? Right. See ya.